Texas uh, that we will show you. Look at this. The National Weather Service reported that a radar confirmed tornado in Jack County late Monday afternoon happened. You can see storm damage reported near Jacksonboro, Texas. This is going to be 60 miles northwest of Fort Worth, Texas, if you're not familiar. Uh, we're also learning there were um, the town's high school and elementary schools both suffered noticeable damage, hence this. I wouldn't be able to tell you what that is uh, because you can see so just, mangled, just mangled metal. Debris. Totally obliterated and some additional information that we're just getting in. 60 to 80 homes damaged in a storm yeah. that sprawled potentially Rita two miles wide in this apparent tornado that we're wow. looking at and we're seeing right here uh, just firsthand looks of uh, just total destruction and certainly devastation for so many people affected and again yeah. this uh, Jack and Montague counties mm -hmm. in northern Texas uh, live images from the air and a, a very startling and sad scene oh here. Oh my gosh yeah that's just devastating to see uh, a total loss as a result of this storm damage. Um, the other thing is uh, Jack County Rural Fire Chief also reporting there were at least four rescues and all of them had minor injuries and that no deaths have been reported. So, you know, we often say, thankfully, no lives lost, right? Things can always be replaced, but still it just, you know, hurts to see these images. Yeah, absolutely. And we're also learning again, there were, uh, there's significant damage to the high school in that area mm -hmm. as well. We know so many churches in this part uh, of the world and certainly in Northern Texas there. So just the ripple effects here in so many ways. Oh. And uh, we're gonna go now to actually we're gonna stay with this and yeah. uh, Rita I mean you can just see and I've been in tornadoes growing up in Mississippi mm -hmm. and I think we cer certainly I think sometimes picture it as this this kind of cloud Twi shape yeah. twister this, this, sort this sort of, of twister mm -hmm. or funnel but I, I what I have observed in, in sort of being in tornadoes is how wide they can be ultimately mm -hmm. it's much more of like this black wall this this cloud of wind and almost really a wall of wind that at times can mm -hmm. span for miles more so than necessarily this is just kind of things that we almost see in cartoons like the Tasmanian devil it's just this huge terrifying wall mm -hmm. of black wind. Well, you know, terrifying is the right word. And uh, I was just looking at uh, one of the reporters. It looks like a reporter out there who was at this scene was saying that there were a few students and faculty at, at a school. You know, I would assume that they were uh, taking shelter, but happy to report that everyone is uh, safe. And I believe we heard from an administrator earlier in our shows talking about the same thing. And she said that she had heard reports that her home didn't have a roof, but that she uh, was more concerned with the safety of her kids and her husband and everybody was okay. So that's the good news out of all this when we look at it is that, you know, there were no reports of any lives lost as we continue to look at these aerial shots uh, after this uh, tornado, this confirmed tornado. National Weather Service reported that uh, they confirmed it was a radar confirmed tornado in Jack County late Monday afternoon. And one of the things that we'll also see in an area like this that is so rural is not just the homes and the churches and the school, but all of those trees that had those tops ripped off of it, it's going to look like that for years unless you, you go out there and mm -hmm. you know, you're know you not literally just gonna rip up hundreds of trees. So, so much of this devastation beyond the rebuild that is ahead for uh, all of these people here in Northern Texas, again, uh, who've lost so many vital parts of their lives that have been damaged, but the impact uh, like on the trees specifically and some of the forestation will be felt long after even mm -hmm. so much of this rebuild happens, Rita. Right, exactly. As um as, as crews work, right? Because today is cleanup day, unfortunately. And hopefully all this weather has moved out for our friends in North Texas. Rachel, um, can, you, can you confirm that? Is this kind of the end? Oh yeah, North Texas is clear. I can go ahead and let me see, let me pull it up real quick, kind of give you a, a wide view of what we are seeing across the state at this moment. But yeah, I mean, they saw that last night. They are now clear. That front is moving on in right behind um, these line of storms. So Dallas is in the clear. This is all going to be heading to the east, heading towards Louisiana and Mississippi. And then, you know, creating, a, I mean, the atmosphere there is also ripe for severe weather, kind of like what we saw out here yesterday. So they could be dealing with that tornado threat 
as we push into the day today. But yes, Dallas is clear and we are also clearing out as well. That's, yeah, we're clearing out with the exception of what was it, Galveston and Chambers County that you mentioned. What was extended until 10? We have the tornado watch extended until 10. Yes, for those two counties. Um, but it is pretty much made its way through most of uh, this line of storms, at least the leading edge, which is really, you know, our main concern when it comes to that tornado potential is when we get those little mm. weak spin ups on the, the front line of that. But we are starting to see that line, the leading edge edge pushing through Chambers County um, should move through I would say hopefully within the next 30 minutes or so and then we should all you know at least see the heaviest rainfall um, off to the east from there and we should just let folks know if you're just joining us we are talking about what we're experiencing here locally right uh, with our watches and warnings but what you're looking at are aerial shots of North Texas as you can see after a tornado ripped through the area look at all of that down power lines debris wood I see a mattress even uh, some chairs on the far left hand side uh, and and thankfully in all of this uh, no lives were lost that is the the very latest uh, from authorities there who I'm sure will be out um, as the cleanup begins and on that note and something to remember certainly if you have families relatives in the area a lot of times you're so uh, shaken from an an event like this but important uh, if you have experienced damage to go ahead and report that uh, to the uh, different authorities and in, um, in terms of uh, the emergency management that's what I was looking for Texas Department of Emergency Management you go ahead and uh, report that so they're able to assess how much damage there ultimately is and how much resources uh, need to go out there as we see a uh, just a, a dog doesn't oh know what to do goodness. with himself on screen Rita and so sometimes oh. these are the images that will certainly stick with you but so many mm. people affected as well Oh, right. That's the other thing is the animals. You know, they're often very scared when they hear thunder, when they hear lightning. And so, oh, man, I hope this uh, this this furry friend finds his family or the family finds him um, in all of this. But nonetheless, I'm, I'm glad to see he's he's doing all right.